before starting. Pre-flight inspection complete. Okay. Passenger briefing. The usual, yeah. I mean, if anything happens, I'll be the pilot in command. Yep. Okay. Seatbelts. Yep. Adjusted and locked. Drawers closed and locked. Okay. Um, brakes test and set. So we got pressure. We'll keep pressure on them. Circuit breakers. Check. They're all in. Which they are. Okay. Okay. All right. Electrical equipment, autopilot off, no autopilot. <laughs> autopilot. <laughs> avionics power switch is off. Where is the avionics, avionics on this one? Okay. Uh, fuel selector valve is on both. Okay. And we'll just grab the keys over down there. Fuel shutoff valve on, in, don't have, don't have throttle open a quarter of an inch. So this one just do two pumps. Two pumps. Right. And then leave it all the way out or yep. leave it a quarter? Uh, a quarter out, yeah. Yeah. Mixture rich. Okay, rich. Right. Carb heat cold in. Okay. Carb heat. Prime as required. Did that. Mm -hmm. Auxiliary fuel pump. But the other way to prime is this one too, but we don't prime it that way. Just make sure you tug on it, make sure it doesn't come out. Okay. okay. Um, propeller area clear. Looks clear. Master switch is on. Okay, so now you're going to put one key there, one hand on the throttle. Yep. Make sure you yell clear prop. Is it the, this one right here? Right now, the other one, the black one. Okay. And we're going to take it back to a thousand. Here. Yep. So if it starts low, add a little bit of power to get right. a thousand. If it's high, yell clear prop. Alright. Clear prop. Check. How do you hear me? Yep, gotcha. Okay. Alright, let's see. First thing first you want to check is oil pressure looking hey. good, oil temp is on the rise. Hey. And then let's go ahead and put this back because I feel hey, like yeah. we don't need that. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. What else is on our list? Another 996 for Lima contact, so got a parture today. Alright, so we're going to be, uh, we already started. So on the next yep. page, okay, transponder. Okay, we're 1200. Good. Okay. Flaps are up. So bring up our flaps. Up. All right. Uh, amp meter. Yeah. So this one right. we'll we'll lean it a little bit too. Little we bit. always want to lean conserve some fuel if we can. Now, are we looking at any instruments to do that, or just kind of? Just kind of. Yep. Just about quarter inch. Okay. Because you don't want to if you bring it all the way back and right. dies. Yeah, right? yeah. Yep. Okay. So that much. All okay. right. So let's go ahead. Let's listen to our ATIS. Arriving to party runway two four. One two five point two four. Localizer DME out of service. How's this weather information available on high watts flight service frequencies? Advise on initial contact. You have information. K back. K back. One tower information. Quebec one nine or five three Zulu. Wind two one zero six to Zulu one zero. Sky clear. Temperature 272.13, altimeter 2977. Zero Alpha approach and use arriving to party runway 24. Notice damn runway 24, localizer DME out of service. How's this weather information? Alrighty. Back. Yep, so you're gonna call them up. Fullerton ground, Cessna 80238 at General with Quebec, taxi 24 run up. Okay. And um, do we usually have the frequencies just pre tuned? Yeah, or 121.8 is the ground frequency. So that's what we have on COM1 active yep. and we're transmitting on that. Exactly. Alright, so we're 80238. So, yep, mic a little closer to your... There we go, got it? Yep. Okay, everybody just 6 2 roger, contact, so got 125.35. And then once he comes back, you're just going to say 2-4, run up via alpha. Alpha. Over 5, Tango Bravo, hold short, runway 24. Correction, runway 24, click for takeoff, 5 Tango Bravo. Yep, go ahead. Fullerton ground, Cessna 8023, has general aviation ready for taxi to the 24 run up via Alpha. Cessna 8023, Fullerton ground, runway 24 run up via taxi via Alpha. Taxi via Alpha, current 23. Okay. Yep. Alright, if you want to taxi. Yeah, ground, stop, breeze 281, Delta Mike, uh, run up complete. You have the flight controls. Delta Mike controls. You have the flight controls, so just go yep. ahead and turn around. Via Alpha, 1 Delta Mike. 
So, yep, as the plane's rolling, now you can get some right rudder, right brake to get us that more of a sharper turn. Is the nose wheel on this plane tied in or with the rudders, or you, it's castering? It's, there's a nose wheel, yeah, the rudder is controlling it, right? So okay. it, it is, so with just the rudder itself, you only, you only can do about 10 degrees, but with brake and rudder, you can do up to 30 degree on each side. Gotcha. Okay, so just use your right shoulder and watch your wing. Right. So let's get us on the right side. Right shoulder should be aiming for that line. And that's how you know your airplane's right in the middle. A little bit more to the right. Good, here we come, Your coming left. to a dip, yep. Right. Copy two, wind up like four, ten tower, right down on departure approved, normally eight two four, clear for takeoff. Good taxi speed here. This is good, yeah, about no more than a thousand on the RPM. RC3, fill in tower. If you feel like you're going too fast, just pull back on the power. Alright, we'll go right behind this guy. Okay. RC3, fill in tower, inner left base, runway 24. Alright, so come around here. Yep, just a little bit more, and then yep, go ahead and start turning in. Not much of a win, but we want to point in the wind, right? Yep, point it to the wind. Uh, it's, yeah, wind is just all over the place right now, so that's fine. Right here's good. Okay. Make sure our nose wheel's straight. Okay. Which, okay, go ahead, go through our run-up checklist. Alright. On the other yep. side. Start uh, before takeoff. Before takeoff. Parking brake set. Got our foot on the brake. Uh -huh. Cabin doors closed and locked. We'll close good. the window before. Seatbelts. Lock. Flight control is free and correct. Yep. Alright. So the way you want to check it is like a box. Right? Box. Bring it back, look one down, one up on the air on. Okay. One up, one down. Okay. okay. Just kind of back and glass to the back. Elevator up, elevator down. Right. And we don't want to move the rudder while we're on the ground, right? No, we could, I mean, a we, little bit. You can check it, yeah, but okay. we already know the rudder's working by just controlling sure. here. Yeah, yeah, but okay. Uh, okay, so we got instruments, four instruments. Airspeed indicate zero currently. Check that uh -huh. on the roll. Level. Altitude is adjusted. Caution for the What's the runway height? Like 96 feet or something? Yeah. Like okay. Uh, are you guys going to park off of Charlie? No quantity check. We're indicating Rigo. something and we visually check those. Fuel shut off. We're Don't. on both yeah. here. Oh, yeah. uh, mixture rich. So we'll go full rich. Yep. Full rich. Full selector valve is on both. Okay. Elevator hey, you guys, I'm asking, sir, you take the big spots off of Charlie. Oh, so you want to be right about there, yeah? And then we have two so smaller there. spots at Delta, and then we have one large right spot off of Echo. Uh, throttle, we'll go up to 1800 RPM. Yep, so one hand on the throttle. Are you okay. looking to uh, hold your brakes? Are you meeting someone? Um, no, you're going to use your left hand, and then you're going to check your mag. So two turns to the left, and watch this. You see the two right uh, hand there. Looks good. Get a little drop. Okay. 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 Go, go add some power back to 1800. I don't even know how I jumped right over that. Yep. Suction. Suction. So. Showing suction. Okay. Uh, back to it then. Now we can just go ahead and do an idle check. So all, all the way, way back. out. Pull out your car heat as well. A dying on us. Good. Alright, power back to 1000. Good. Alright, now. You want to check your amp meter, so on the left side of that master switch, go ahead and press it down. The left side of the master, the ma right here. or, or, I'm sorry, the master switch, but there's a left button. Oh, yeah, right yeah, right there. Right here, yeah. down. Left side, right. 
Okay. There's a discharge and there's yep. a charge back up. That's Great. it. Okay. Okay, uh, strobe lights. Uh, we don't have on this one. Okay, no strobe. Radio avionics set. Yep. So we got ground right now and we then we'll switch ground. over to tower. Exactly. Okay. And then let's just lean our mixture a little bit. Okay, everything looks good to me. Make sure our DG lines up with our compass, which yep. it is. Okay, and we're doing no flaps on takeoff? No flaps, no though. No flaps on takeoff. Uh, okay. So, oh. Okay, just go ahead and tow ground, full of ground, so that's 90238, run up complete, ready to continue. Fullerton ground, so that's 90238, run up complete, ready to uh, text to two more. That's 90238, runway 2.4, text to Alpha. Text to me Alpha for 23, so two more. Good. That's something that I noticed I need to work on on the... Uh, no actually saying where I'm going. Uh -huh. yep. But that, you caught yourself, so that was Yeah, good. I finished it off. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is that normal for the little squeak that I hear? I don't know if you can hear it with yeah, your Yeah, I see it from, from the brakes a little bit, I hear it. There. New brake pads, new disc brake. Horn, put a little wear into it. Yeah. All right, so on takeoff here, we're gonna go full power, full check, power. make sure we're all green, yep, and all we're, right. uh, Rotate at Rotating 55. at 55 and climbing out at, you said 75? We'll just do 65 and then at least until 1,000 feet, then we'll transition okay. to 75. For me, I just like to get as high as we can in a short period of time, just in case something happens. Right, right. okay. And what's our uh, departure kind of strategy here? We're going uh, straight out, probably? Five transition. Well, we'll ask for a left crosswind departure. Left crosswind. And then I'll, I'll, I'll do the transition to Seal Beach real quick because it, it's a quick call. Okay. All right, so I got, I'll switch that over for you. So now we're on tower. We do landing lights on takeoff here? Or uh, is it for takeoff? It's, or it's not three three needed, off. but if you want to get into the habit, you could. Yep. Or like in terms of turning on the nav light instead, you don't need the landing, but yeah. Oh, okay, gotcha. All right, so we're ready to go here. That's closer window, all that good stuff, yep. So once we're clear, just make sure mixture is rich, car P is in, fuel selectors both. And all that good stuff, right? Lights, camera, action. All right, and we you switched us over. Yep. So you're on tower now. So, so we did that by pressing that button, right? Oh. Flops. Okay. All right. So now we're talking Fullerton Tower. Yep. Left crosswind. Fullerton Tower, Cessna eight zero two three eight, holding short of two four, ready for departure. Requesting a uh, left crosswind departure. Cessna eight zero two three eight. Crosswind departure approved, runway 24 clear for takeoff. Runway 24 clear for takeoff, and we'll uh, depart with the left crosswind. 23, okay, good. Yep, all you have to say is just 24 clear for takeoff. All right, we're good. All right, so we got full rich there. RP is in. Good. Feels like jumbo. Sounds good. I'm set for takeoff. This uh, plane have a, like a little kink on the trim. I know some planes they need a little bit of. Uh, not really. Not this one. I think six four Lima. If anything has that. Okay. Our November. All right, we're lined up here. We're gonna go full power and uh, expect right water. November six five six four seven five tower hold short runway four. Heat down to the floor. Good. Full power set. Engine gauges in the green. Okay. Looking for fifty five here. And there's okay. 55. Start rotating, nice and smooth, good. So you feel how we're drifting like that? Just yep. a little bit of left air on into the wind, crab into the wind. Right, okay, and then we gave a little rudder. A little rudder. Yeah. Up on the ball there. Yep. 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 You want to be 65, right? So pitch up a little. 65, uh -huh. okay, gotcha. Just wait until we hit right about Beach Boulevard or at McDonald's, we'll start our turn. Okay. We can probably expect them to say frequency change approved. Yep, I'll, I'll ask for a two right now. All right, you can start your turn. Clear. Two, three, request frequency change. Two, three, two, three, frequency change, please. Frequency change, two, three. Also, let me know towers. That's not ESO, two, three. Just departed Fullerton. We'll let you transition your airspace to Long Beach practice area. Cessna 80238. 
So right now we're in their airspace. And what, they have a Bravo going on? Uh, no, this is a Delta. They have a Delta airspace. If okay. we're 6,000 where we are right now, we'll be in Bravo. Gotcha. So yeah, give me a 190 on the heading. Get me up to 3,000. Get in the habit of picking a point out and yeah, I'm just kind of fix it. Line out that way. Now, what's your philosophy on always keeping your hand? I here? always, yeah, always. I, okay, that's always been the uh, uh, I can barely hear the guy. Can you hear him? Really? Yeah, I'm yeah, very loud and clear. How about now? A little better. Yeah, that's better. Okay, I'll blow it on my end. Okay, okay 200 to go. We're going back to 2000. 023, frequency change approved. Frequency change to 3. Alright. Once we're at 3000, you're just going to level the nose first, gain some airspeed, and then cruise out. So cruise power is about 22, 2300. Trim as needed. There we go. Good. Just hold out. You're going to gain some airspeed. So just nice and easy. Good. Now you can power back a little bit. Start cutting in into give me like a two zero zero on that. That's called the breakwater if you want to start pointing there. Okay, I do see that. Yep. So, something that I've wondered and I couldn't really find an answer to it, I probably didn't search hard enough because I figured I'd ask you. So, obviously they tell you to stay coordinated in your turns. What is the incentive to stay in coordination with your turn? What is the incentive? Yeah, like why, well, why, do, why do you do it? What's the... Well, mainly because if you're uncoordinated and you, like a student pilot reacts, you know, like by pulling up and stall stalling the plane, okay. you go into a spin right away. So being coordinated is the key. So okay. yeah. Gotcha. So it's very important. Very, very important. Okay. 
Okay. I mean, yeah, it's just something I've always done, uh -oh. but I, I don't. Re I didn't know the reasoning behind yep. it. So if you're uncoordinated and you stall, spin. That's the equivalent to. Yep. Long Beach practice there. Area system five three zero one hotel two miles south of Angel Gate two thousand four hundred calls. Two thousand four hundred. That was really loud. Now. That was too loud. Our volume here. Yeah, that one. Our, okay. Yep, that one. So what do we have here, Long Beach? That is Long Beach, correct. Yep. Okay. So just kind of stay away. Get us back to 3,000. Climbing to 3,500 southbound Long Beach. And once we're at the coast, I'm going to show you a maneuver called the Dutch row. And this is why we have to stay coordinated. Okay. So once we're out. So get us up to 3,000. For a little climb like that, do you... Uh, we, power could, to get we, it or we, just we could just kind of track a little yep. air, air speed. Exactly. Okay. Yep. Been studying, huh? Yeah. Now you stop. Right. I try. I, I, That's good. And that way, it, you're gonna understand things faster. You're gonna be able to save time and money too. Yeah. That's. Uh, I did like a little kind of video before. Uh, a, um, like a video. I don't know how to explain yeah. it, but I did something before. I posted that video. Like the area, white Cessna, two miles south of Angel Gate, 2,400 calls. Uh, I basically said, you yeah, know. Yeah, I'll be this year, Cessna, 1625, it was over Queens, gate at 2,500, South Bar Long Beach. So somewhere. they're saying that they're coming along the coast, right? They're yeah, going south. That, that's Queens Gate right there, so okay. we're about, we're east of Queens Gate. Let me just, I'll have the flight control for now. Do you have the controls? Beach practice area, Cessna 8023, one mile east of Queens Gate, 3,000 feet game maneuvers. So first thing first, we always want to do a clearing turn. We're clearing okay. turn nice and 15 degrees of bank, that's going to give us a standard rate turn. That's gotcha. Uh, get the hand footage here. It's also good because I can look back on this stuff. I don't see anyone on here. Oh, I don't either. I know there's a guy below us, about 1,500 feet below. So. Yep, I like flying over the water. Not when an engine fails. Not when an engine. <laughs> you know how to swim, right? What? We yeah. know how to swim. It's part of the lesson. <laughs> Alright, so we'll pick a heading. Let's just do. Right about here, 210. Okay. Okay, you ready? So I'm going to show you a maneuver called the Dutch roll. Okay, Dutch roll. What is the Dutch roll? So the goal is to keep that ball coordinated. We're picking okay. a front, you know, a tip of that Catalina Island, 210, 3,000 feet. So I'm turning, as I'm turning left, I'm kicking a little bit of left rudder. Okay. And then I'm coming right out. All right. So that ball should be straight or in the box. Right, okay. Okay, and we're not climbing, we're not descending. Watch what happens once I don't use any rudder. You feel that? Oh yeah. Yep. It's way different. Very Super unstable. Super unstable. Yeah, I so, feel that. All right, so I'll have you try it. Two one zero. Okay. Two one zero. Picking a point. Pick a deep. point. Yeah, okay, we'll stay three thousand one hundred for now. Okay. Okay. So we'll do yep a turn to the left and then it's just a smooth roll, right? Okay, and what kind of bank angle are we going uh, for? Just thirty. Yeah, about thirty. So nice, quick roll, and then come right back. Now, is, are we getting right rudder on our transition back? Or? Yep, so as, you're, so as you're coming to the right, you're stepping on right rudder. Now as you're going to the left, you're releasing some left, or right rudder, and putting in some left pressure, right? So okay, just, yeah, that helps a lot, being yep. able to follow you. So right, and then come back left. So the nose is not going anywhere. Right, yep. okay, that makes sense. Yep, just like that, okay? So nice. I'll have you do a couple on your own, okay. and I'll scan for traffic. All right, let's go ahead and start here. Now your nose is actually going down. Oh yeah, I see it. Okay. Um, here. Okay. And then I'm gonna teach you how to fly the plane without even looking at this, because yeah. this is gonna have a lag. If you could tell your, you know, okay. what the airplane's doing by the nose, you'll be a great pilot. Good. There we go. As you're coming. Uh, I think I'm moving my rudder quicker than my. Uh, uh huh. So it's a nice gradual transition. Your nose is pointing down a little bit, right? Good, now come 
back. Yep, come back again. Good. Much better. Okay, I can see what you mean. Uh huh. Alright, let's, let's, yeah, okay. let's do a 180 back okay. to that north heading and then we'll do it one more time. And we'll just scan for traffic as well. Okay. There's a guy somewhere here below us. So this is a scanner here? That That's does. a scanner, yep. So if you have That's a awesome. flight, you can link onto the uh, ADSP awesome. as well. It connects up to five devices. Really cool. Yep, so just keep coming to north. There's another guy that's going to be right in front of us, below us. Okay, so we'll look for him? Yep, look for him first. He's closest. So I was looking kind of at airspaces, and I, I was going to ask you, I need a little help on that. I, okay. Um, but I was looking at like the LAX influence that is here. The shelves are on. way higher yep, than Yep, so us. right here, that's why we're able to practice out here, because right, it's okay. 8,000 for Bravo shelf. Okay, that's what I saw, yeah. yeah. Yep, so keep turn. There's a guy coming right here in front of us, so don't descend either. We'll hold. Somewhere around here? Somewhere. He's coming this way. Okay. Where is he at on your app there so I can Pretty. just have an influence on He's going to be coming. What's his altitude? Uh, minus 500, so he's about 2,500. Traffic 1 o'clock, let's get up. Let's just get up. Add a little power? Just yep, add a little power. Holy sh oh, there he is, right here. Traffic right here, right under us. Right. Yep. 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 That's crazy, huh? Yeah. I'm wild. Alright, yeah, let's just get up to 3-3 three, three and then... Oh, that's wild. That's wild, that's why. And especially, wow. there's Torrance, there's Long Beach, there's Orn, uh, John Wayne, Hawthorne, they all come out here to practice all those flight school. That's wild. All right, so just go ahead. Uh, let's do a right turn, sorry. Okay, so what's our like no-nos to fly in here? Obviously uh, not over the Air Force yep, Base. <laughs> not over. I mean, as long as we're about 3,000 feet, we'll clear all these, we'll clear Long Beach, we'll clear uh, Seal Beach airspace. But yeah, they all end right about the coast area. So Saw those on the uh, sectionals, the two platforms there, Emmy and Eva, I think. Uh huh. Well. Yep. Right. Yeah. Yep. Good. All right. So just give me a turn back to south. We'll stay around here, 3,300, and do another set of Dutch rolls. Okay. Yep. No five there on that one. So I'm from uh, Palm Springs area, Palm so Spring? I had the opportunity to do training out there as well, um, uh -huh. but I figured it'd be better to do it out here with the busier airspaces and stuff uh, like that. Uh -huh. uh, I go to college at Fullerton, so. Perfect, yeah. Cal State Fullerton? Yep. Nice. Got class right after this. Oh, oh really? Yeah, yeah. Four o'clock. Hopefully traffic's not too bad. Yeah, it shouldn't be. Okay, perfect. There's a regional jet with 8,000 feet above us. Oh, so we won't go five there. there. All right, there. so go ahead, pick a point, right. pick a I heading. Like big peak there. Okay. Power setting good? Yeah, power is good. Yeah, it should be cruising about 90 knots or so for this maneuver. Yeah, looks All good. right, let's go ahead and start here. Yeah. Just make sure you don't point that nose down. Okay, yeah, that nose is still drifting. Oh, yep, just hold it level and come in. Come out with that. Uh, this one is. Come in. Okay, I think I need to be a little more aggressive, yep, aggressive on the transition. Exactly, yep, so just. Where rock, we it's like to, rocking the wing. Yep. Yeah, because we, we, well, we're already going that way, uh -huh. so we need to stop that and then okay, exactly. bring it. Okay. Alright, let's try it. Alright. Make sure that nose is still coming down. Alright, good. Good. The other way. Yeah, okay, so I feel the lag too, uh -huh. There's a, so you gotta start a little sooner than what you want to do. Okay, now let's, turn, yeah, let's do a 180 back to north. How do you feel? Pretty good? Good, I feel comfortable. Alright, let's get to slow flight. Okay. You're really good at that. 
Garrett do stalls with you? Yeah, we did uh, power off stalls, uh, steep turns, and uh, uh, slow flight. Okay. Oh, so it was a full-on lesson. It wasn't a demo flight. No, yeah, because oh. I told them that I, I've had uh, training experience before a little bit. So, because my first lesson, or I, I've had two lessons prior to this. Uh -huh. I was, uh, I did slow flight stalls, and uh, but that was back in 2013. Yep. I was like 14 years old. <laughs> so you always had it. Um, but yeah, we did slow flight stalls and uh, perfect. Turns. All right, so we'll do a north heading 3,200. Give me two slow flights, so level out. Okay. What's the first thing we're gonna do? Uh, okay. Well, comes. we need to get it in the white arc. Yep. Or right. yeah, so power comes back to 1,500. Okay. As okay. power is coming back, you want to hold your heading and altitude. All right. So we'll kind of pitch back a little bit. North is the heading. Yep. You're descending now. Hold that nose up. Beauty Park area, only oh, that's not 3,000 feet over the horse. So now start walking down. your flaps. Two, okay. 30. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This has 30 degrees for yeah. full? Yep, right about here. Now we're pitching for 45 to 50. All right. So add some power. Power controls your altitude. Right, right, right. right. Or, uh, we're descending a little bit. Long Beach practice area, Cessna 780238, two miles south of Queen's Gate, 3,000 feet maneuvers. Alright, we'll go in north. Yeah, so just keep that north, add a little bit more power. We started at what, 3,200? Oh, yeah, so give me back to 3,200, how are we going to get that? Yeah, Airspeed should be about 45 to 50, that's your range. So we have add full power. You just pitch up nice and easy. Don't push down, just pitch up right about here. This is going to hold 45 if you don't. There we go, look at that. Just hold this. You're climbing nice and slow. Okay, don't let go of that pressure. Okay, okay. okay. You feel that? Yep. Your air is deep. Pull back. Pull back a little more. There we go. Good. I think I have a natural tendency to push, push down. down. Yep, <laughs> but that's okay, we'll fix it. Okay. Okay, now slowly bring back some power to about 2,000. See if that's going to hold our altitude. Okay, now let's give me a turn to east and stay at 3,300. So when you're turning, make sure your ball is coordinated. You don't want to be more than 10 degrees of bank. So each line is about 10 degrees. Both slow flight, slow, slow turn. <laughs> yep, but now you want to make sure you're at 45 to 50. You're 55 right now, so you got to pitch it. Yeah. And now you're climbing, right? So you gotta pull back some power. Keep that pitch. You know, pull down now. And this is right above that stalling speed. It's kind of slow flies uh -huh. right on the brink of that. Yep, it's the minimum controllable airspeed. Good, just a nice and gradual. There we go. Just keep this nice okay, attitude. That. Just look outside, see what the plane's doing. 3,300. We want to roll out on east. Okay. Speed good here or a little slower? No, yeah, that's good. 45, 50. Right. As long as you're within that range, you're okay. Okay, I got a better feel for it now. Yep, and this is what examiner is going to tell you, you know, DP. Yeah. They're going to be like, okay, climb to this heading. I think my problem is I'm looking too much at these gauges and I'm, and like you said, there's lag. So there's, if I'm. I mean, this doesn't have, but this has a lag. Right. This, yep, this will tell you. I can do quick glances here, but I'm focusing too much on this yep. and I'm like, Kind of, exactly. and then I probably slow. Yep, so you're chasing the plane. Right, right, right. Yep. Alright. So I'm getting our airspeed. Go right there, airspeed. Good. We'll pull back a little bit of power if we want to stay at 3,200. TV practice area, all white Cessna, south of the horseshoe at 3,000. Practice can power on stall. Alright, one more turn south and down to 3,000, please, and we'll recover. Pull back a little bit of power here. Yeah. Pitch up. Pitch up, good. Good job staying coordinated. Touch. There we go. What'd you say we're going for heading here? Uh, south and 3,000 feet, and then we're going to recover.
engines are south, so we make sure you start adding a little bit of power to stop our descent. Keep that turn coming, pitch up a little bit. Good, so how do we recover from a slow flight? Um, I don't remember. <laughs> so go ahead, full power, I'll talk you through it. Okay. So we're not trying to climb either, so full power. Very little down level. Pressure. Yep, so now walk the flaps to 10 first. Flaps One, to 10. Two. Stop, there we go. Now we're just pitching up. Okay, flaps have come to zero. It's just like baving the flap. Right. right. And that's so it just, uh -huh. no sudden. Correct. So pitch up a little bit. Now bring back power. Power to cruise. 2200. So, 2200. Yeah, so just kind of watch your heading. Besides that, your altitude was good. Okay, so okay. What, what do they give you on deviations there? Like plus that? 10, minus 10, plus 100, minus 100. Okay. Minus zero from that stall, plus 10. And then plus or minus 10, uh, 5 from the thing. Gotcha, so you just need to ten, yep. stay with the so, parameters. Yep, so stay with the parameter. All right, let's turn back to north and let's do a power off stall. Once we got power off, let's go do some landings because I feel like you're pretty comfortable with the plane. Okay, um, left or right? Uh, let's, let's do right because there's an airplane below us about 300 feet. We'll scan for that. Yep, 3,000. What's the standard rate of turn for like, uh, if you're not in a maneuver like that? Like a 20 uh, maybe? Sta standard would be 15 degrees of oh, bank. That's called a standard rate turn. If you do 15 degrees of bank, it'll take you two minutes to do a 360. At 15? 15 degrees. It'll take you three minutes, you said? Two minutes. Two minutes. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, just a little math. <laughs> right, we'll just point. That's called the Angel's Gate right there, where we are. Where uh, this is? That's the little area. opening. Can you see that little opening? Right in front of us? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Angel's Gate. Or that's Queen's Gate, I'm sorry. Queen's, Queen's Gate, Gate, and that's Angel's Gate. Angel's Gate. The Queen's opening. Gate, Queen Mary. Yep. Probably, yeah. Probably yeah, that's okay. And then that whole line is called the breakwater. Yeah, that whole line that's running across it. Yeah, visual uh, landmarks are key, yep. especially when dealing with all this traffic on the uh -huh. So yeah. turn to north and then get me configured for, uh, what did I say? Power off. Power off stall. So let's get up to 3,000 first. Alrighty. Let's get into this maneuver. So, north heading 3,000 feet. Power comes back to 1,500. So, as power is coming back, you want to start pitching up on that nose. Okay. For power off, we still want a little descent, right? To start? Yep. So, but first we got to get our flaps in. So, go right, ahead. Right, right, right. Yep. Throw on your flaps. Okay. One, two. A little more. You can go flaps there if you want. Good, now we're pitching. At this point, altitude doesn't matter. We're pitching right. for 65, because that's the speed that we're coming into land. We're holding our heading, which is north. Just nice and easy right here for now. Okay, there's five 65. Yep, go ahead, start bringing your power to idle. Power comes to idle now. You're just gonna slowly pitch up that first line. That's about 10 degrees of pitch. That's all you really need. Okay. Think how fast your airspeed's bleeding oh. off. Staying coordinated. Staying coordinated, good. Just keep holding, keep holding. Pitch back a little more. Good, just hold it. There we go, full power. Leave the nose down a little bit first. Flaps immediately comes to 10. One, two, three, stop. Pitch up now. Now flaps come to zero. There we go. And back on the throttle. Good. Okay. That's it. Cool. Power back to 2200. All right, let's do one more. So okay. turn around, do one more. We can do like a zero like power information. Romeo 2053 Zulu observation. Wind 190, like seven, visibility 10, sky clear. Climb so up to 3000. 2.14, altimeter 274. The VOR alpha is in the east, arriving in departing runway 24. That is the airman, they're only 24 localized. The DME is out of service. Pilot control portion of the 24 approach lighting system is out of service. Hazardous weather information is just turned to south for me. Flight service frequency. Advise on initial contact at Romeo. Romeo. Okay. Yeah. Pulling 
stay at 2,000 for now. Long Beach practice area, Cessna so 9723, 2,000 feet east of the breakwater, heading northeast bound last call. Okay, so you gave a last call before you switch it over. Switch it over. Yep. So Mios Tower, Cessna E023, 2,000 feet over the breakwater. Would like to trust the airspace to forward to. Cessna E023. Plus 400, chart, okay. That's so cool, technology. I yeah, it. it's crazy. So the disadvantage of being low is it's harder to find the airport. Right? Yeah, okay. So that's one disadvantage. And if something were to happen, it's a lot less time to recover. But like right now, we know that, okay, Let's say our engine quits, we have we could land a thousand feet. I could easily put that there okay. on that okay. runway. Where we have all these one, two, three, make your transition east of the field for traffic about. East of the field, two three. Okay, so east okay. kinda know. Well, I was just about to ask you if, like, if there's any different kind of ways that they transition us through. Uh, usually, though, just you could just cross over midfield; they'll be fine. But like this, like if there's bus if they're busy, you know, they'll tell us what to do. And that's the good thing about being in a control tower. Because usually, yeah, they'll 2,000, they'll be okay with it. But today, you know, you saw the jet was coming in, so you wanted. It's probably hard to say what caused that little bumping, but. It's possible to say that whatever was approaching, or just all the approaches that are going to Long Beach, uh, stuff like that. Three miles the Skyhawk southbound at 2,400 to the ILS in Long Beach. Roger, looking for traffic, 2-3. 2,400 so, southbound. He's coming somewhere here, though. He's ILS for... Yeah, but we want to just keep an eye out. Right. Just maintain 1,000. Don't descend. I think I'm getting the hang of, you know, air, or, uh, altitude deviations with the throttle, but uh -huh. you can still sacrifice some airspeed exactly. to make little deviations. Yeah, yep. I, on our last lesson, I was just trying to do all with the throttle, and it was low. 
That guy showing up on your out it, there? It is. We're still pretty far up, and he's uh, 2,000 feet above us. Should be coming somewhere here. So at this point, you see Knott's Berry Farm? Yep. Yep, just start pointing us there. And then once he has a switch over, immediately uh, Fullerton Tower, Cessna 8023 inbound with. Cessna 23H, I'm coming here, heading to the left of the King Area, right base, for way 22 right here, let's go. Traffic inside 23. Let's maintain right about here right now. Yeah, this guy's coming this way too. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't want to be much closer. I know, that thing showed up right here. Yeah, it's like... Is there any, like, uh, notums over Knott's Berry Farm like there is for Disney? Uh, no. Okay. It's Disneyland. That's the permanent TFR. So, yeah, you're going to say... Fullerton Towers, that's 98023, 1,000 feet over Knott's Berry Farm inbound with Romeo. Okay. Once he gives us a frequency change. about 80 knots, so we can translate that, right? We can kind of... Sacrifice. Sacrifice, yep. That's going to work. Actually, we're going to be working a bail with a gun call. Power setting's about 2,000 on that downwind, and we want to come in on a 45 degree. So how do you know 45? Right up about here. Perfect. And we'll have time to do, like, two laps around the pattern. Say that one more time, so this, if I line that up with 2-4, yeah. then I'm on a yeah, that should 45? Give, yeah, that should give you a rough estimate of where that 45 degree entry, this is okay too. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, so, proper way to enter a traffic pattern, or any airport, 45. So no don't, de don't descend, just keep up our altitude. up to reduce our airspeed at 80, go ahead first notch of flap. 1, 2, 3, 4, okay. feel it come down a little bit, there okay. we go. Now we're transitioning to 65, nice and easy, kind of keep that nose down, right? Yeah. Nose down, gotcha. right about here, don't need to do much. Right. That's a power about 1500. Uh, 611, Quebec, holding short yeah. of runway 24. You want to make sure there's no more than 20 degrees of bang, nice and gentle. Cessna 1-1 Quebec, copy. Yeah. Hold short runway 24 at landing traffic. Yeah, just keep that coming. We know we want that 24 to be somewhere here, so we know that's our base. We're going to want it squared out. Okay, that's fine. All right, go ahead and do your second notch. And Angel 1, what's more advantageous for you, north side or south side of the runway? Still high, so pull a little bit of power back. 
probably need more flaps there. 1B65, it's a little gusty. Right, at this point, all you're doing is just keep power all the way back. All the way back? All okay. the way back. Yep, all the way back now. Okay, good. Now just keeping that nose down. Keep coming down. Keep coming down. Push down. Sorry, I'm fighting yeah, you on that. I'm pushing down your phone. Alright, so just keep this side picture. Okay, gotcha. Okay, you might need to add a little bit of power. Just push in a little bit of power to get us over that fence. Good. Power back now. Power goes back. Once I say round out, you're going to look to the middle of the runway. Push down, push down. Say so round out, so hold this easy. Hold it first, hold it. You want your left wheel to land first. Now you're going to start right. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now rudder, rudder, rudder. Now let's break. We're going to go off on right on Delta. Okay, right on Delta. Okay, you have the flight control, so just pull up and then. The 23A runway 24 taxi be a problem. Right rudder. Angel One, what's more advantageous for you? The north side or the south side of the I think that threw me off a little bit because of how steep and it's tight we were. Right and you then because we flew straight in on the last one, yeah. so I was normal. Okay. Okay. So that's Angel One, I'm going to have to first. Pattern. I'm going to do uh, right traffic. So if you're able Clean to up. stay huh? south of uh, departure end and all there. try to get a flap up. So up. I can. Lean the mixture a little bit. Okay. Cool. Perfect. All right, right continue. Okay. Yeah, for that, I mean, it, it looks high, but as long as you keep that nose coming down, pointing, so point the nose wherever you want to land. Right, maintain your airspeed 65, that's why I knew we were going to be able to make it easy. But yeah, I know, I know what you're talking about, that sight picture was like, whoa, we're super high, but we were full flaps, and that flap was eventually going to bring us down. Yeah, flap gives us a, okay, it'll come with experience. Yeah. Yeah. And then just kind of take note of the windsock too, right? The windsock was blowing this way, so that's why I wanted us to have that left wheel yeah. touchdown. As soon as you said that, oh. I saw the windsock, I was like, okay, that's two, uh, three, eight tower. Go ahead, 2-3. Cessna 238, I just told the other Cessna in the pattern, but I have law enforcement helicopter that's operating off the departure end, just south of the center line right there. So when you make your pattern work, on your departure, if you can make your crosswind turns as soon as practical for right close traffic. Will do, T3. Tower Angel 1, would 2000 work for you if I just stay overhead? Angel 1, uh, Angel 1, that's affirmative. If you want to climb up there, they're only going to climb to 1100 feet uh, in the pattern, so you can maneuver as necessary at 2000. And I'll advise the uh, right. Wolf's Owl if you're going to get closer there. Okay, that's right. They're right here on station, so I should uh, be uh, on this problem 2000 to 2000 that can work under me. And Angel 1, if you want to stay at 1600 or above, that's fine also. Perfect, Angel 1. Oh, they said there's a helicopter. Catch it all aircraft. Yeah. The helicopter will be uh, at or above 1600 off the departure end, so normal pattern for pattern work. Roger that one, welcome back. Okay. Do you like to neutralize this? 460, runway 24, taxi be alpha. Say again? Do you like to neutral, put this in? Yeah, neutral. neutral. Okay. So just remember, before we cross that line, get into the habit of making sure your mixture is rich unless you're at a high-density altitude airport. I you know some pilots have like a kind of, what's your deal, right? But right as you're crossing, you say, you have like a mental note that you're just like boom, boom, boom. Yep. boom. Yeah, so like checklist, make sure car P, feel selector both. Altitude mode. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, yeah, let them know. Holding short two four, ready for close traffic. Fullerton Tower, Cessna eight zero two three eight, holding short of two four on taxiway Bravo, ready for a uh, departure. Close traffic. Stay in the uh, pattern for close traffic. Yep. So we'll work at 238, make right close traffic, runway 24 cleared for takeoff, and that helicopter is going to be at or above 1,600 for now. Just say 24 clear for takeoff. Good. Okay, so yeah, there's some things that I yeah. could probably leave out of that. Yep, we'll definitely yeah, so work on, because yeah. it's just Extra short, rich. concise. Yeah, I, I'm sure. I'm used to flying on a non-controlled, uh -huh. so it's just like, kind of tell every, what you're doing and everything. <laughs> Alright, so we got car P in, yep. mixture rich, fuel okay. selector on both, trim set for takeoff. Good. Okay. Fullerton Tower, Cessna 611 Quebec, downwind, runway 24. Okay. 
helicopter. All right, here we go. All right, take off power set, engine cages in the green, okay. looking for 55. A little bit of right rudder, heels on the floor. If you're kind of stepping on the brake, I can feel it. Yeah, I felt that. Sorry. Yeah, six, five, six, four, seven, Rotate. Tower. Uh, expect your climb out around Knott's Berry Farm. I do have a track that's over a... A little bit of right rudder. Right Watch for that 65. So continue on the DOR Alpha approach. Right rudder, right here. Right. Welcome back, base turn is approved, runway 24, clear to land. Nice and easy. Approved, clear to land, 24, so no more welcome back. Four tower, Skyhawk, 64460, holding short, runway 24 on Alpha, for a right downwind departure. Just a 64460, four, four, lieutenant tower, right okay. tower. Go ahead, side view. Crosswind turn. Pattern altitude is 1100 here. Okay. Four tower, Sensor 65647, DOR Alpha, taxi approach, will be a full stop. Cessna 65647, Fullerton Tower. I do have a helicopter uh, law enforcement operating above the airport at 1,600. So uh, at B wall, well, circle south to left down. Okay, roll out. Four, Make sure we're nice and square. We look spin. looking good. Uh, so now go ahead and start to at or below 1,000. So always make sure once you're turning crosswind, there's a KFI tower here. Yeah, so keep an eye out on that. So just keep the turn coming right here, just hold it like this. Now you got 1,100, so we're going to push the keep the turn coming down. Power back to 2,000. There we go. Just push down, trim as needed. Cessna 238, number 2, fall set in the short final, we're about 2 4, clear the land. So okay. Traffic in sight. Alright, so we'll let her keep close. Alright. Alright, so we're a beam, yep. right? So, so we're gonna go back to 15. 15, car P car comes beam, on. Car is on. Yep, pitch up a little bit to bleed out some. There you go. At 80, go ahead and first notch a flap. Okay. Uh, so as flaps are coming in, you want us to stay level. Good, 65. Keep your descent going, looking good. Right about 900 feet, or around that baseball field. That's a good. Cessna 1 will be able to turn right at Echo, runway 24 taxi, get Bravo. Okay. Oh, base? Yeah, you can start turning Echo base. Back on Bravo, Cessna 6 1, 1 1 We're barely Cessna descending, right? So we're gonna. Runway 24. Middle of the that turn. Cessna 647, continue towards the airport, please, for traffic. Okay, towards the airport for a second. Just keep the turn coming. Okay. Good. Cessna 647, traffic ahead and to your right. At 2 o'clock, 2 miles, is an 860 at 2000 descending. At 900 over the field. Okay, traffic 6 percent I'm trying to add a little six bit of power, 1500. Uh, your altitude, you're no factor for the okay. helicopter, so make the normal left downwind for the runway. Just keep right, we have some traffic today, we'll make the normal downwind for the runway, 6 by 6 percent I would add a second notch of flap before we turn final. Turn that. 1, 2. Good job anticipating that balloon. Don't let it come out. You don't want flaps in a turn, right? Okay. Right, you don't want flaps in a turn? Um, I mean, you could do it, but some people don't. That's because flaps are motor, right? Let's say the motor breaks while you're in a turn and you're pulling in your flaps and you have a different degree, one on each side, then you're screwed. Gotcha. Okay, we want to go another notch here? Another notch here. Just a 647, thank you very much. Number two, fall traffic, one half mile final, runway 24, clear to land. Okay, so I We're see it, I feel seven. that now, so the flaps give us the opportunity to pitch the oh, nose down. That's yeah. 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 Keep this side picture. No, 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 a little bit to the right. Yeah. 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 Uh, correction, make straight in runway 24 over Cal State Fullerton Airport. Straight in runway 24 over the college. We want to add a little power? A little power, yep. Just keep that little power in. Good. Just keep that nose coming down. Good. Cessna 460, are you going to go north eastbound? 
Alright, so we have the runway made, I'd yep, say. Yep, so yep, start baby back to power. Just the 460, if you can start your northeastbound turn, down. traffic a mile and a half north of the water treatment Lock plant the right. is the company Skyhawk inbound for the straight in. Power comes back. Okay, looking for traffic, starting our turn down. So you see that wind sock? Yeah. So left aileron, right rudder, right rudder. Right, right, right. There we go, good. A little bit more right rudder. Right, round out, round out. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I felt that one. Tower, Cessna, right. six one, 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 so what caused that to oh, Easy, easy. Power back. Cessna 1-1, one, one, Quebec, hold short, runway 24, roll out traffic. Holding short. Let's get off. We'll, hold short, we'll do one more at four, six, one, 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 Quebec. Okay. Let's do one more lap. Can you do one more? Yeah. What time is it? Yep, 30. Oh yeah, we're good. Cessna 238, runway 24, taxi via Bravo. Taxi via Bravo. So what caused that sink? I just felt like we just died. <laughs> yeah, make sure you say 2-4 as well. Okay, oh, gotcha. Yeah, they're very picky. This guy's really picky on the radio. Okay, so clean. The 6-4 Lima, traffic clean west you starting to turn northwest bound as company Skyhawk at 2,200. Okay, go ahead and put the question. What was it? Oh, what? Yeah, I felt like we just the sank the there. Company, uh, we were, I mean, our airspeed was good, but the way we rounded out, there was no round out on that one at all. And by the time we were close to the ground, you kind of panic in terms of you pull up. Just go ahead and we'll start. I'll talk us. We're going to traffic. So you pull up, which ballooned a little bit, right? And then. Just, at that point, our airspeed was like zero, so it's going to. Okay. So it's a. So, a little shallower. A little, yep. okay. I think so when I say, when I tell you round out, just level the nose, right? You're not trying to flare yet. Gotcha, gotcha. It's just level and then I'll... That's, I think that's what okay. And then try to look about the middle of the runway. And then you're going to start feeling that aircraft coming down slower, slower into the ground. Now you start flaring, flaring, flaring. Okay. And then you want to hear that stall warning go off. You want to hear beep as you're about right. to touch down. That's going to be like a nice and smooth. Okay. Yeah, I think I, I'm i also used to having a 10,000 foot long runway. Uh -huh. right? So I think. Yeah. So that's the thing, too. It's like if you could land here, you could land anywhere else, too, because it's only 75 feet in width. And after the minus, subtracting the threshold is like 2,900 ish, I believe, for the runway. Right. So it's very I think short. It's, I think it might have been playing with my mind a little bit. Like, yeah. I need to get this thing on the ground or I'm going to. Yeah. No, I mean, don't yeah. rush it. Yeah, because you could literally still land this Cessna t twice on this runway. Oh, really? Uh -huh. so. No rush at all, but always yeah. treat it. Yeah. Treat us like a spot landing, you know, a short field. So try to always aim for that 2-4. Yeah. So right. you get the correct Cessna 1-1 Quebec, make right close traffic on my 2-4 clear for takeoff. And always try to touch down by the time your right Delta right. is the yeah. max. Yeah. Charlie, you know, if you could, yeah. be great. Get on that center line. I'm going to include my uh, little checklist there to keep my feet off the tops. I need to lower them. I didn't even notice that until you said that. I was like, crap. Because I could feel the brake was kind of coming. If you press like halfway in the middle of the pedal, you're hitting brakes and rudder too. Cessna 460, if you're still on frequency traffic, 10 o'clock, 3 miles southbound at Navajo at 2200. Okay. Wind tower, make sure forward on, medevac on my pad for takeoff. He's got departure, just go to the uh, edge of the delta and back home. Swift, all right. Mercy Air 4, Flipped in tower, hover taxi, runway 24, Charlie, clear for takeoff, left turn approved. Clear for two takeoff, 24, left turn, mercy 4. Give yourself a little room just in case you something happens and you roll right into it, that's a violation right away. Gotcha. So. And then, yep, this time just go forward to tower, Cessna 8023, holding short 24, requesting close traffic. Cessna 8238, Fullerton Tower, caution, road to Ross, helicopter depart at midfield, make right close traffic, runway 24, clear for takeoff. Just say 24, clear for takeoff. 24, clear for takeoff, or 23. Perfect, yep. And just make sure. Bridge, RV in, sector on. Oh, trip set. Cessna 11, Quebec, follow helicopter, that is uh, two and a half miles north west of the airport. We got airport. traffic Turn coming, so just be ready. My antenna, please. Turn back to the uh, downwind and then uh, Count to about 15 and then turn your crosswind. I'll call your traffic. Yeah, roger that. We'll turn crosswind at the uh, just past the KFI antenna and uh, 
Your caller downwind. I'll call the, uh, no, after the KFI antenna, yeah. turn your crosswind, Keep then the north is down, power. the helicopter's two miles north. Yeah, power yeah, all the way in. Antenna, you're gonna follow. All right, put down Front the floor, floor. Yeah, we'll six go one power one. all the way in. Mercy Air 4, report inbound. Mercy Air 4, with them. Right right that's good. Here's speed coming with that. Check. So this is our upwind and we know there's a lot of headwind. Utilize that. Try to pitch for that 65. That's going to give you the most airspeed. Or not airspeed. Altitude. Right. Yeah, that's awesome. A little wind gives you a little, wind. little boost. A little boost. So try to fly runway heading 240. Cessna 238, follow the Cessna 152, extended up. I'm done. Uh, he's turning cross, went past the KFI antenna. Roger, we'll follow the traffic 23. Cessna 11, Quebec, you have the helicopter head off your nose. That's uh, a problem, 11. So, so, Cessna 11, Quebec, that's the traffic, you are following. Yep, yeah, I see him. Alright, so we'll turn behind the, the KFI tower. Oh, on the backside? Yep, on the backside, yep. Go a little wider. Uh, yeah, so 1,100, so if you have pattern altitude, just level out, power back to 2,000. The 238 crosswind is approved, crash on the KFI antenna, the trap, you're following the wide right downwind. Crosswind approved, 23. Yep, don't climb anymore, so push that nose down, trim as needed. Probably need a little bit of nose down trim. Yeah. Yep. Hold it down, Archer 904, in particular, ready to take off 24, will be a right turn. Archer 904, 84 kilo, full of the entire landing trap, hold short, runway 24. Holding short of 24, Archer, ready to go. Cessna 1 1 Quebec, I'll have an Archer depart the prior to your arrival, runway 24, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 24, flight is just extended down a little bit, reminding. Oh, Cessna 1 1 Quebec, thank Still you. Don't have that guy inside? Okay, well, down with you. Yeah. He said he's on a wide. You see him? Yeah, I'm gonna start turning now. Okay. As long as we're behind him. Gonna follow. Watch your altitude. I need you to pull back a little bit more power. Go ahead. Downwind, you want to be 80 knots, 1,100. Mercy Air 4, make it straight in, runway 24. Straight in 24, Mercy Air 4. Archer 84, Kilo, right turn approved, runway 24, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, clear for takeoff. So, since he's coming to land, we're probably going to have to extend downwind, right? So, if you have extend downwind, just maintain 1,100 for now until that plane crosses our wing. Cessna 238, number two, following a Cessna turning a one mile final, runway 24, cleared to land. Traffic no factor, he's B 
flight review here so right here we have Fullerton um, 
let me go ahead and get a different color here. So right here we have Fullerton. And what we went ahead and did was we did a uh, departure from runway 24 here. Uh, so that would be this direction. And then we asked for a left crosswind departure. So we'd made this left turn right here. We kind of headed over here toward Los Alamitos Air Force Base. Now Los Alamitos Air Force Base has a, a airspace there that we needed to get transitioned through. So what we went ahead and did was call them up right on our crosswind there and uh, got permission to trans, uh, transfer through their airspace. And they did give us permission. So we kind of cruised along down through here. And then this uh, area here is the um, Long Beach practice area. So that's where we went. We did maneuvers here. Uh, facing out this way and then we made turns going like this basically doing our maneuvers in this direction and in this direction um, now there is a breakwater that you can see labeled right here uh, right here and that breakwater kind of runs right along here and there's a few points there that we refer to like Angels Gate and uh, Queens Gate Angels Gate is here off the left, and uh, Queens Gate is here off the right. You also heard me refer to the Emmy and Eva oil platforms, which are labeled right here. Uh, so those are some of the landmarks that we were dealing with there. And then, all right, so after we completed our maneuvers out here over the ocean, we went ahead and got another transition back over the Los Alamitos Air Force Base. And this time they gave us instructions to stay east of the field. So we flew over here at a thousand feet before the shoreline. So we dropped down to a thousand and we flew a uh, east of the field here. And then we pushed over this way to Knott's Berry Farm, which is somewhere right in this area and uh, requested to land here at Fullerton. We entered a left downwind for uh, landing here and then we proceeded through the pattern two more times and did landings like so. So with that being said guys hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, just some pointers or tips that I need to work on. I just need to work on like slowing my descent coming in for landing. Um, there was My landings were decent. There was one that I was a little off center line but smooth and then there was one that I just really slammed it in the ground. Um, but like they say any landing that you walk away from is a good one, uh, but we want to go for smoothness. So uh, it's just something that will come with practice, but hopefully you guys did enjoy that video. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comment section what you did think of the video, and uh, stay tuned for the next one.